What I'm about to show you is a text-only access solution for Windows. Let's just wait till Windows 7 boots up. A little bit of background on the solution. It's called Guide. It is developed by Dolphin Computer Access of the United Kingdom, which specializes in access software for people who are blind or have low vision. This particular software package, um, unlike the full-fledged HAL screen reader, which I do uh, plan to try at some point, Guide is designed primarily for those of us who may not be computer literate. Um, the, it is very, very simple to use. In fact, um, uh, given the, the way it's laid out, a lot of us techies are probably going to think it's too simple. But let's log in and let's give it a chance. So let's uh, give it a look. So hang on a moment while I uh, get my password in here. Now, you will notice that I've switched my theme of Windows 7 over to the basic mode, the uh, Windows Classic theme, only because I thought it would be, I, I personally thought it would be better, but that's just me. So we're now logging in. Now, it'll take a moment for this to boot. It's set to automatically come up. Okay, so let me... Please note, this is a demonstration version of Guide. You will be able to use it for another 21 days. So as you can see, it's very... Menu. It's very easy to use. It's, it's all text-based. It has menus. So, let's, um... Let's see, let's go ahead and go through the menu first. Now, originally, when you first start this up, um, the, the voice that said hello and welcome to guide is your default voice. I've made some alterations to this. First of all, not only have I changed the voice, but I've also turned off the help tags. Um, those help tags would automatically come up, but which, under, which is understandable given the target market is, um, is senior citizens. And possibly, I'm debating whether it could be used for elementary age school children who who are blind or have low vision and are getting their first taste of computer access, I think this might work for them too. Uh, were it not for some of the negatives, but we'll point that out later on. So let's go ahead and scroll down the menu and see what we have. So the first is email. Press 2 to write letters and other documents. So you got a full-on word processor here. Letters essentially formats it for a letter, whereas documents just lets you freelance. So let's go in here. I'm going to hit enter. Letter and document menu. Press 1 to write a new letter. Press 2 to write a new document. So I'm going to go ahead and press 2. 2. Please type your document. So I'm going to... Press gonna... the escape key when I'm... you have finished. The beautiful part press is that... Press F1 for more help or to repeat these options. So I can just hit F1 for help. I'm going to type in... T. E. S. R. Oop. So I'm going to, that's basically what I have there is the word test. Now, if I want to enlarge it, um, I can hit Control F, I'm sorry, I can hit F12 to enlarge the text, which on this computer is function Y, so let's give it a shot. Screen is now level 11. F12. 
Zoom for the letter and document details screen is now level 15. So I'm going to hit escape. Escape. Document. Actions. Select an action for this document. Press 1 to print your document. Press 2 to change it. Press 3 to save it. Press 4 for advanced save options, such as saving to a specific folder, or converting to Microsoft Word, Talking MP3, or other formats. Press 5 to spell check your document. Press 6 to look at the word in the dictionary or thesaurus. Press 7 to change the page view to as printed. Press 9 to change the page setup. Press escape to discard any changes. Escape. Discard changes. Press escape to go back to your... Press 1 if you are sure you wish to... 1. Changes to document discarded. Main menu. Press 3 or T to access a website. Now it said T. I set this shortcut up actually by accident, but you can set up custom shortcuts. And if you do, like you saw in the text of the word processor, if you want to make your document bigger, you can by pressing control by pressing F12. If you want to go back, it's control F12 to make it smaller. Three. Web browser menu. So let's go to one the full web browser. Now the way I've got this set up is you've got address box. Type your address, search words or command, then press enter to continue. So you've got Type the word close. You've got return to the main menu. You've got two web browsers here. This one's the full web browser, but I went ahead and initiated it as text only. The other one is text only, but it's a little bit more cluttered. This one's a little bit cleaner. This could take a moment. Please wait. That pendulum you heard, that's what happens when it gets to be slow. When it gets to take... This is certainly taking a sweet time, isn't it? Please wait. Please wait. I'm basically trying to get myself back to the, um... Back to the main page here. Let's see. Please wait. Oh. Hang on a moment. Options. There are ten options. The selected one is show web pages in my colors. On. Use the up and down arrow keys. Escape. Please wait. Please wait. Good grief, this thing is so determined to load the web page. Um, this didn't exactly go as I had planned. I was going to show you the rest of it, but suffice it to say, there are things like a, an MP3 player in here. There are things like a, a web browser. There, there's a um, file manager, which says proceed with caution, which makes sense for the target audience. The reason I'm not sure about its usability for like younger audiences, like kids, is because if you're using it in a public place, for the instant messenger, for instance, it'll store your password and make it public, which I don't like. I think that's a bit of a risk, so I think that's something they need to work on. But overall, this is Guide, a text-only solution. What I would like to see is a text-only interface for Windows, Mac, or Linux. It's already in Linux, but I'd like to see it across the board for Windows and Mac OS X. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day, and I apologize this didn't go the way I'd hoped.